who had turned over the 16 millimeter reels. In 1947, this cameraman had supposedly been ordered to tape the autopsy of an alien found in the desert near Roswell, New Mexico. The day after the autopsy, the cameraman developed the film, which was never turned over to the Air Force for some odd reason. Fascinated by such a spectacular subject, TV networks around the world were excited by this rare find. At first, the film seemed to be authentic. Even Eric Gosselin, a special effects technician, was taken in by the film. The first time that I... However, shortly after the film was released to the public, several UFO believers began to have doubts as to its authenticity. The circumstances surrounding the release of the film raised serious doubts. Timothy Good is one of Britain's most well-known UFO researchers. He has published several books on the subject of UFOs, such as Above Top Secret. Regarding the um, alien autopsy film, which was presented by Ray Santilli some years ago, When we organized a private viewing at Bell Canada, technicians confirmed that the telephone was a three... In other words, there was no proof that the film had not been taped in 1947. Unable to prove that it was filmed later than 1947, analysts turned to a theory that it was possibly a clever trick, an argument countered by the exorbitant cost of such a production. Invited as an expert on a television program, Eric Gosselin said that he could prove this objection wrong. Even though they proved that it was possible to produce something similar to alien autopsy at a reasonable cost, the Gosselin brothers in no way proved that Santilli's film was a fake. Further proof was still needed. Santilli was still keeping quiet about the identity of the person who had taped the film. 